Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got a new defense for you. Uh, this is a defense that I was kind of trying to save until Madden 21 uh, because I know not as many people are playing the game, but I know there's plenty of people that are excited and wish the game that was already here, just kind of like I do. I wish this game was already going to drop. But either way, I'm starting this video out a little bit different. I'm in the uh, play select screen because um, there's, you know, some people might not know how to get to this particular play. If you go to the advanced settings, about halfway through the season, EA dropped something called NFL Live Playbooks. Now, originally, you would have to select it on or off. Uh, if you left it off, um, you would have basically the playbooks as they started at the beginning of the year. If you put it on, you would lose some plays, but you would gain some plays. So it was really at your discretion. I couldn't help but notice recently, I don't know if it was the latest patch, but basically the NFL Lives playbook is pretty much always on as a default now, which leads me to believe that the plays that you got and the plays that you lost are going to reflect uh, the, uh, the playbooks in Madden 21. I think that the live playbooks are going to be a lot more like uh, what the playbooks look like when Madden 21 drops. So with that being said, with an eye looking towards Madden 21, I'm going to show you guys a defense, a very versatile defense that I like, uh, that I think could be one of the best defenses in the game in the upcoming year. It's also very good right now, so if you're still playing, you can use it. But let's go and let's get right into it. And that defense is the Sugar 3-2 out of the dollar set. Now the dollar should be pretty familiar. A lot of people have really liked the dollar. It's one of the most dominant defenses maybe two Maddens ago. Uh, but ultimately, you can see, like I was saying, I can't choose any other dollar defense. This is the only one that I have. So they probably took away the dollar three two six, which everybody was using, and replaced it with something that they suggest is more used in the NFL now, which is the Sugar three two or something similar to it. I would imagine. Now, when this dropped originally about halfway through the season, I put out a couple of plays from it, a couple of blitzes. Uh, you can see a lot of the concepts are very similar to uh, the DB three two six. I'm sorry, the dollar uh, three two six, uh, including one of the plays I'm going to show today which is the db fire 2. now one of the things that i anticipate being so good about this particular defense uh, is its versatility as i was saying there's two different things that you can do to make this uh, a very good uh, pass defense and there's two things you can do to make it a very good run defense now you can see right there all i really did uh, was i would show blitz and if you do it again uh, they'll drop back a little bit i mean i know a lot of people aren't necessarily comfortable with uh you know in a cover two you can get beat pretty bad if you show blitz in this particular game i don't know how it'll be next year uh but hopefully it'll be the same way but either way so like i said you can see the way this defensive front sets up um this should be pretty good against uh the pass more than the run because you can see there are gaps uh but i'll, I'll fix that when i show uh some defense on the next play i mean ultimately this if i had to guess i'd say this might be more of a run defense so i'll go ahead and i'll show that next adjustment which is basically just pinching everything and now you can see how uh this essentially can look just like a three four or even, uh, I mean, it feels like there's even more in a box. So you have a 3-4 look where you have your cornerbacks. I mean, this is a cornerback heavy defense. So it's to a point where it's like a 3-4. You have two linebackers in the middle to make it a little more stout in the middle. But on the outside, you have the speed of cornerbacks, uh, which who wouldn't ra rather have that? I mean, there's no, you can find cornerbacks that are 96, 97 speed and put them on the edge here, which you can't do. You can't find a defensive end or an outside linebacker to do that with. So if you can do that, where you can basically have a 3-4 look and have that type of speed, coming off of the edge that's going to be very deadly whether it's run or pass and then ultimately at the end of the day um, i'm going to bring this uh you know my user linebacker down in either this gap here or this gap here so i can ultimately uh, try to get the cornerback off the other side because we have two tight ends on this side so the chance of me getting um you know the, the cornerback on this side off is not really going to work so i'm going to try to bait uh, a blocker on this side try to get uh, the cornerback that's on the running back side which typically i wouldn't do but try to get him off and you can see right there it was actually a blitz i'm sorry not a blitz it was a um a screenplay but you can see where speed is always going to come in handy and i didn't make the adjustments i might typically do uh as far as trying to get um you know get uh, my fastest cornerback in these spots i just kind of left it alone it is what it is um you know it's just a practice mode anyway but in a game I would, I would most likely do that so here we have uh a scenario where the running back um you know i want to go i want to try to get the cornerback opposite the running back off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to typically use somebody on this side to try to pull a blocker so this is the scenario where i'll try to get that running back off you can see the guy comes around the corner um obviously it was a run play but i mean i'm surprised he didn't actually make the play let's go to the replay real quick uh, he kind of pulled up lame. That was a little bit strange. But ultimately, this is the look I'm trying to get. You can see right here, he just comes flying in. And if I would have guessed 
Uh, maybe it's maybe he just didn't have the recognition. Like if I would have guessed pass, he would have laid out the quarterback. So here's another scenario. Like I said, I don't want to run it like that all the time. Uh, but you know, if I think it's a pass, like this here's a four wide receiver set. If I think my opponent is going to be in something like that, um, I have the option here where I can basically just blitz one of these guys and uh, kind of just just fill in that that zone with my own personal user. So in a scenario like this, I might bring you know if I have a speedy defensive tackle, I might try to use him just to get him off the edge. If I have a, a defensive end over here because I'm trying to get the cornerback in, um, I can drop into the zone like this. So I'm basically just trying to get something on the inside so this cornerback can get around the outside one more time, and then try once again try to pull a blocker. You can see. Wentz is every it's all over the place. There's nothing open. I almost get a user pick trailing that route. Um, but that's something that, you know, this is something you can run a couple different ways. And I can't really say that there's a way that I like particularly better. I do kind of like the 3-4 looking defense more a little bit. Um, but I can't say for sure that's, you know, the best way to go. So here, the one thing I do, will say, though, you still want to make sure these guys get into these uh, into these lanes. If they're too far out and they're not into the QB contain lane, they're not going to be as efficient. So make sure you do that. So like I said, here, once again, trying to get the guy off uh, off the right side so the running back can't pick him up. I'm going to come over to the gap with this guy here. I'm going to user him. Even though I have him blitzing, I'm going to user him. I'm going to drop either him or the defensive end. It's all the same. Drop one of these guys back into coverage. Typically, this is going to be a little bit faster than the defensive end, though. So I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna go with the linebacker. You can see quick pass. Um, it's really hard to say. I feel like I still saw the guy get off. I'm not really too concerned with the result because there's not a lot that any type of blitz is really gonna do to stop that. But let's go and let's go to the replay because it looked like he got off the same way. So like I said, I'm trying to get, I think it was this guy who just came right in, not him. Yeah, so they both came right in. That could be, I mean, that's, that's the type of result that could be from the play design. Uh, but you can see, once again, I'm getting the result that I want if it wasn't that type of quick throw. That's something the computer will do, but that's not a guarantee that the uh, your opponent user will do that. Um, and then another thing too, I mean, you're going to see quick throws. Uh, like I'm, I mean, it's not going to be hard for the for your opponent to realize you're bringing this this receiver or this cornerback in, and then this receiver is essentially going to be uncovered. The receiver right in front of him, which looks like Deshaun Jackson, number ten. So they will recognize that. So if you're doing this, just be sure that the second you you have to recognize that too. So I know I have to cut off Deshaun the second I drop back, which if he runs a straight route could be a problem. So here we go once again. Like I was saying, you're getting a guy right off the edge, play action pass. I didn't even get to the point where I really saw what was going on on the field because it was so uh, it was so fast. So here we go one more time. Like I said, I, I I just setting it up. You know, sometimes going short sides is the best way to go. You can see it's another quick throw, kind of like the one before. Um, and I really didn't get off my block as quick as I wanted to, but it's almost because it didn't matter. Like I said, I felt that sack coming. You could see it was instant, so I really didn't try too hard. But ultimately, like I said, that's going to be, there's an uncovered guy, so you have to watch that. And I didn't do a very good job of that. Not a whole lot I could have done other than get off of this and just sprint to the flat anyway. Uh, but like I said, you can tell right here, the second car just pulls the ball back, he's going to get planted, so I really wasn't trying too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, because uh, like I said, this is something I'm going to revisit when Madden 21 drops. I think this is one of the, uh, this is going to be one of the better defense if it goes the way that I'm thinking it's going to go. EA is showing all the signs that it will. Uh, but if these are the defenses that have replaced the old defenses, uh, I'm already labbing them to make sure that I get ahead of that. So, like I said, check out my uh, my redone version of this when Madden 21 drops. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, more defensive videos, let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.